Up, shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hi friends, this is Abhijit from Creative Research. Today we will discuss how to control your home appliances from your PC or serial monitor. In our Arduino IDE, we have a serial monitor available. You can see on the right side corner. By entering values over here, you can control any home appliances. So today we will discuss how to use this serial monitor. As well as we are going to control home automation devices using relays. So for connecting uh, all these devices, basically we need a hardware and using hardware we are going to do this task. But today in this uh, tutorial, we will make all the circuits and check the output using a software known as Proteus. So using Proteus software, we are going to check the output. First let's see the code and understand it carefully and after understanding it, we are, we are going to generate a hex file from this code and this hex file will be dumped into your microcontroller or Arduino board in your Proteus simulator. So in my previous tutorial you can see how to st get started with Proteus and in this tutorial I am going to tell you how to use Proteus basically. We are, going to de we are defining a variable LED that is value is starting and basically this is the pin in which the LED or the output device is, is connected. So thirteen is my onboard LED that is available on our Arduino Uno and you can control that LED to check the output by placing a value from your serial monitor or entering a value from your serial monitor. So to communicate between your PC and your device you need to set a quadrant to begin the serial communication. So here 9600 is the here 9600 is the border at which data is communicated between your PC and your Arduino board. And I am going to define LED, LED means pin of 13, it's as the output pin, means my LED or my relay is connected with this pin. So that whenever I enter a value relay, relay switches to that, switches its position from on to off, and according to its position, the device will be on and off. So <coughs> I am defining a variable known as receive byte and the receive byte will be stored the values that is a character variable that stores the character values that is I am going to enter from the serial monitor and it will check and perform the action according to my input ok if serial dot available function is greater than 0 means if I am entering a value or it is getting a, get, this getting a value then that value that is using serial dot read function I am going to store that value in a variable known as receive byte you can name the, this variable anything like a, b or c, it's not an issue. After that I am going to check if receive byte equal to 1, I am going to show in the monitor that LED is on and the digital light is function is going to give the output on saying output device a high signal or 1. Uh, so digital light LED high means the LED will be on. Then else, the, else means I am giving any values if x except 1 means I can give 2, 3, 4, 5, say anything or if you want to switch 1 for on and 2 for off you can write else if and you have to give the condition but I am in this program I am writing else means any value you are entering except 1 the device will be off so LED is uh, the, if I am entering 2 or 3 the serial print function will print on the screen that LED is off and the output is low so now let's compile it first you can see the compilation started. I'm not connecting any hardware module over this, so because I'm going to check the output without any hardware using my software. So uh, we are not connecting any hardware, but till we are not connecting, uh, till uh, yes, we are not connecting a hardware, but we have to choose the board as Arduino, you know, because according to this board, the program will be rejected. So choose Arduino you know, and then compile it. So wait for some time till the compilation is completed. Yes, my compilation is completed. But this compilation does not generate a hex file. But I need a hex file for my program um, for my Arduino board in Proteus. So for that reason, I have to generate a hex file. So to generate a hex file, go to File, then Preferences, 
and check that till this part so purpose output during compilation so click on this compilation take it and click ok and then the verify your code and we will see lots of steps are going to show in your compilation part you can find it you can see and from compilation is completed and after compilation is completed if you scroll two steps up or right you can see in this line see your location with .x extension just go to this location and copy this .x file or just copy this address like this and just control c means you are going to copy this code okay now you have executed the code and generated x code and this x code is a machine level code and that is going to dump inside your hardware or in your Atomy model available in your Proteus okay so this software part is completed now go to the Proteus and we will do some more tasks if you open the Proteus you are going to you have to use this uh, <coughs> this is not your uh, this is not circuit I am just deleting all the parts I am just going to use only Atomy model Select and this is your Arduino. You can see the Arduino, you know, you can see the Arduino in Proteus, but this Proteus, this Arduino uh, file is not available by default in Proteus 8. So, in Proteus 8, if you want to use Arduino, you have to uh, you add some external library. So, I am going to attach the link of the library, just download that uh, library from that link, and this is this is the two files arduino.idx as well as arduino.tape.library. Just copy these two files, go to your C drive. In your C drive, you can program files, open it, then go to lab center, go to lab center electronics and enter, go to Proteus 8 Professional, then go to your library and uh, you have to paste these files over here. Already I have pasted it. So I didn't know these two files <coughs> should be present in the in your uh, Proteus library file. Then just close it. If you have already opened your Proteus, just close and restart it. I don't have to do it because I have done it already. So now let's make the circuit. And for the circuit, let's decide what are the components I am using. So to choose the circuit, go to the component mode and select pick devices. I am using an Arduino. I am using an Arduino. So go to scroll down and select Arduino and place it over here. Okay. and then I am going to control a LED first and then I am going to control a relay so I am I use the LED so type LED in P devices and scroll down you will see lots of LEDs are there you have to choose animated LED model okay there is blue, green, red and yellow are available you can choose any one like I am going to choose blue one select blue one and connect it okay so the LED is connected with pin of 13 so get it uh, wire from pin 13 and connect it with your plus of your LED and then I need a ground so go to your terminal smoke in, in this position click on it go to ground select it and place the ground over here and connect the negative LED to the ground now I have to connect uh, a virtual terminal because the, all the communication is going on on your virtual terminal means your serial monitor the serial monitor whenever I press one then only the device will be activated. So the interface over here is your serial monitor. To connect a serial monitor in Proteus, we are going to use a virtual monitor that is available in your components instrument section. Go to the instrument sections and click on virtual terminal. In virtual terminal, click over here and place it. Okay. So you can see at this point there is a TXT and RHD pins are available. Okay. So this TXT and RHD pins will be connected with RHD and TXT pins of your virtual terminal. So RHD is connected with TXT and TXT of your serial monitor is connected with RHD of your Arduino. They are interconnected so that the communication will happen. Okay. After connecting, connecting all the devices, I am going to add the export. Just right click over here, click on edit properties, program files, 
this is the address where you have to choose your program and add it but already I copied the address location just go and paste over here if you have copied that location over here just copy this location just go to this file and So you can see serial switch error website is stationary and click OK. After you click OK, all the circuits are connected perfectly. Just check that out and click run the simulation. When the simulation executed, you can see a terminal window is pop up on the screen. And in this terminal window, click on the window and press one. And you can see that it will display LED is on and the blue LED is activated. Then press it to the LED is off and the LED is off is shown on your terminal. This is where you can press any LED 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, nothing will happen. Whenever I press one, the LED is activated. Whenever I press any LED, the LED will go off. So you can see this is where I am trying to control the LED. But Whenever it comes to the emergency system, I have to control the AC appliances. But AC appliances is directly can connect with your admin because admin is a device. So just stop this simulation, replace this LED part directly and connect a relay. Relay is which device which used to control your output. Control your AC appliances because the magnetic switching device so input and output devices are not connected with the other. So I am just changing the value of the relay to 5 volt because I am controlling the relay using 5 volt and plus 30 is connected with pin number 30 and minus is connected with ground. So both turn and go to the ground and place the ground over here. Whenever pin number 13 is high, the relay is activated and whenever the pin is low, the relay is deactivated. And just see what happens over here. When I simulate over here in the screen, I am going to enter 1. You can see the red light here. You can see and can activate. And you can see the red mark over here. It shows the high pulse system. And when I press in the field, it shows the off. Okay. Now let's stop it and connect an SC appliance over here. So for SC appliance, I need a SC source that is alternator. Alternator will find animated AC voltage source. Click OK. Just place it over here. And then I need a uh, AC bulb that is available in, in the name of lamp. And you will see an animated light lamp, light bulb is available. Click on it. And click over here. And connect the light bulb in this fashion. Because whenever the relay is activated, these two terminals will get connected to each other. And the bulb will glow. And when it is off state, the computer is not connected and is using off state. Okay, it is a port and it is NC and it is NO. Port and NC directly connected and NO is not connected automatically. Whenever I am giving a high pulse to is one of the terminal, you can see whenever I am giving high pulse on the terminal, the bulb is glowing, you can see and AC. AC is always working, but the bulb is not connected to that directly, so it is not glowing. So whenever I press any devices, you can see the bulb is going off. Okay, whenever I press one, the bulb is started going. So in this way, you can control any AC appliance like light, bulb, or stand, and you can control these devices from your Arduino serial monitor. This is the basic example how to control devices from serial monitor. But you can convert this serial monitor you know, to a Bluetooth device, and through the same program, you can control the device over Bluetooth also. I will come with come with the next tutorial of this device is how to connect and control the devices over Bluetooth. And till now, please keep subscribe to my channel and give us your review over this video and give us give us give me comments and likes so that I can improve myself in my next videos. Thank you, thank you very much.